Assalamu alaikum my name is Sara and today what we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about protons electrons and neutron that we have discussed in the previous videos that that these are the subatomic particles of atom remember okay so in this video we will discuss about the periodic table mendeleev periodic table and we will discuss about atomic number and atomic mass one by one so let's start discuss product table <clears throat> okay ji so in in product table mendeleev product table we have actually the eight groups you can see these vertical lines okay the pillar columns these are actually the groups and group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 group 6 group 7 and group 8 from this to this this is this comes under the group b okay so we will not discuss this group 1 group 2 and till group 8 so there are how many groups there are actually eight groups in mendeleev periodic table <clears throat> and when we talk about the periods these are the periods and there are seven periods in periodic table and pillars all uh, and the periods are always in the horizontal one theek ho gaya so groups are in vertical and periods are in horizontal okay ji <clears throat> so if you observe that in first period there are only two elements hydrogen and helium hydrogen and helium there in first period there are just two elements are present okay and in second period you can see the rest uh, lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon acha let me tell you very interesting fact now you don't have to memorize the periodic table okay uh, always periodic table given to you and you should never ever i think focus on the atomic number and atomic mass but when we were students in 9th grade we used to memorize it and let me tell you a very interesting fact how we memorized hali ne ki rab se faryad bhi mach ka sar bada that's how we used to memorize it okay ji so the groups we have discussed group we have discussed the period okay in periodic table group 1 and group 2 are called metals they are called metals the left side of the periodic tables there are present metals okay group 1 and group 2 from third group to sixth group we have semi metals first metals solid in nature then semi metals and then group 7 and group 8 are called non metals and actually they are gases is it clear metals semi metals and non metals okay and group 1 is called alkali metals they are called alkali metals group b name is alkaline earth metals okay and if you talk about group 7 they are called halogens why they are called halogens halo means salt gens mean former so basically they are salt former right for example sodium fluoride potassium chloride potassium bromide so salt formation occurs here okay and the group 8 group 8 is also called group 0 okay group 8 is called group 0 and they are called noble gases you know uh, in this word we give the nobel prize to some person that is exceptional okay that is mind blowing exceptional so group 8 elements are called noble gases why because they are very inert very very stable right they have a unique property they don't have to okay let me ask you a question why the rest of the elements like lithium chloride carbon dioxide why there's a need to make the compound actually we will discuss the octet rule here that why we have to make the compounds because they have to be stable theek hai unhe stable hona hai they are not stable only group 8 elements are stable only they are very stable they are very inert inert mean they don't have to be uh, they don't have to be stable they are already stable so they don't make compounds 
helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon. Okay, so these are noble gases because they are very stable. And why they are stable? Because they have eight electrons in their outermost shell. Okay, so now I will discuss the octet rule. But <clears throat> let me tell you again, this is the product table and you don't have to memorize it. Now, we have already discussed in the previous videos about the atomic theories and we know that electron has negative charge and J.J. Thomson discovered electron, Rutherford discovered the uh, proton having positive charge and neutron having no charge neutral. Okay. So, number of protons is equal to number of electrons. What does it mean? It means that if we have five protons, we have five electrons. Charges will be different, of course. Protons will have a positive charge. Electron will have a negative charge. But the number will remain same. For example, oxygen has eight protons. Surely it will have eight electrons. Then. Okay. <clears throat> so let me tell you about the atomic number that we have discussed in the periodic table that in periodic table if the for example let's take an example that periodic table okay this is periodic table we have already discussed that atomic number is 6 okay and we know this that in periodic table that elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic number in most of books it, uh, there is uh, that uh, in, elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic masses. Both are correct. Okay. So, so if the carbon has atomic number 6, what does it mean? It means that if their atomic number is 6, how can we find out the atomic number? Atomic number means the number of protons. Number of protons tell us about the atomic number of that element. If any if I gave you uh, any element and I am asking you that <clears throat> it's proton, it has seven protons, right? What is the atomic number? You will surely say seven. That number of protons tell us about atomic number. And in most of the books, you can see that the atomic number is actually the proton number, right? Proton number tell us about the atomic number. <clears throat> like carbon has atomic number six. Atomic number 6, so it's proton number 6. And as we know that number of protons is equal to number of electrons. So proton number 6, so electron number 6. Okay. And uh, atomic mass is 12. The atomic mass of the carbon is 12. If you, uh, someone asks you that what is the formula of atomic mass, how can we calculate the atomic mass, we can find out the atomic mass by number of protons plus number of neutrons. We know this, that this is an atom and this is a nucleus and inside a nucleus we have neutron and we have proton, right? So this tells us about the atomic mass. So number of proton is 6 and uh, number of protons plus number of neutrons okay if i gave you a okay if i gave you that this is the carbon it has six atomic number and 12 atomic mass so please tell me about the number of neutron how can you figure out the number of neutron you can figure out the number of neutron by this this, this formula atomic mass minus atomic number so atomic mass is 12 and atomic number is 6. So 12 minus 6, 6 the number of neutrons. And let me tell you again, you don't have to memorize the atomic number and atomic mass. Okay? <coughs> now we will make the electronic structure of sodium. The symbol of sodium is Na. And the atomic mass is 11. Okay? So let's draw. So how we will draw? First of all, this is nucleus. Okay. Then after nucleus, this is the first shell. You can say it orbit or shell. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you about the octet rule. According to octet rule, in the first shell, only two electrons can accommodate. Only two electrons. Okay. If the atomic number is 11, remember the rule. Uh, atomic numbers mean proton number. 
and number of protons is equal to number of electrons okay so it means it should have a uh, 11 electrons so come to the point so according to octet rule the first shell should only have can only have two electrons okay then there comes the second shell first shell can accommodate only two electrons and rest of the shell maximum eight electrons so one two three four five six seven eight eight plus two ten but the atomic number of sodium is eleven can we add one electron here no a big no because according to octet rule rest of the shell can have maximum of eight electrons then we will draw one more shell and then we will add one more electron okay G. so let's count the electrons these are 11 electrons 11 electrons mean number of electrons is equal to number of protons 11 electrons 11 protons and we know that how can we find out the atomic number atomic number is equal is actually the proton number okay G. let me give you a very interesting information that if someone give you a, this structure and I am saying this that unknown element. So tell me the number of period and, and number of group. Okay, now come to the product table. Okay, this is the sodium. This is, it comes in the first group and the third period. First group and third period. Okay, G. So number of electron in outer shell tell us about the group number number of electrons in outer shell so how many electrons in outer shell one electron so here it comes sodium belongs to first group okay and number of shells tell us about the period so number of shells here are one two three and it belongs to third period okay now we will i will draw our electronic structure of Okay, let's take us nitrogen. Nitrogen has atomic number 7. Okay, G, let's draw. This is nucleus. This is first shell. And according to octet rule, we can only draw 2 electrons in the first shell. Okay, now remaining how many electrons? Seven, um, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. So, this tells us that sodium, uh, nitrogen belongs to which period 1 2 second period so let's check yes nitrogen belongs to second period and which group it uh, 1 2 3 4 fifth group and 1 2 3 4 fifth 5 so five electrons in the outermost shell so the most important point is number of electrons in outer shell tell us about group number and number of shells Tell us about the period. So this was about my today's lesson. Let me recall important points that number of protons is equal to number of electrons. Like if we have 7 protons, we have 7 electrons. Is it clear? Then a second point, atomic number. How can we figure out atomic number by the number of protons? And if we talk about atomic mass, is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons okay let me tell you very very important point that every element is unique because of its atomic number okay let's take example of carbon carbon has atomic number six no other element in the universe having six atomic number so if you change the atomic number you say that no uh, i found an element that is actually seven and its atomic number is seven and it's carbon no its atomic number will be nitrogen then okay then we discuss about the product table Mendeleev product table that have eight groups and the seven period and in next video I will tell you about the trends in group one group seven and group eight and don't forget about the octet rule that oct whenever you have to draw the electronic structure of any element make sure you should have a clear concept of the octet rule that according to octet rule right that in the first shell we should have only two electron and other shell we can accommodate maximum eight and the element is stable only if its outer shell contain the eight electron 
So that was about lesson. Thank you so much.